What's up, everybody? This is Marty Friedman. You are watching The Age of Metal. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie here with The Age of Metal and I'm here right now with Marty Friedman. This tour that you're on right now is almost done and I mean overall, how has it been? It's great. The record came out in May of 2014 and here it is, February of 2016 and uh, it's finally winding down and we've had so many fun experiences and toured many countries and many cities and played for many people. And it's just been absolutely fantastic. And uh, Inferno is everything I wanted it to be and more. And the response has been fantastic. All those cliches that everybody says about their tour is true. We're just loving it. And uh, we've only got three shows left. And uh, we're just pumped to do it. All right, perfect. And I know that you also have the Axis and Anchors tour. I mean, the cruise coming up. Right. So uh, have you ever played on a cruise before anything? I've never even been on a cruise. What? The only boat I've ever been on is that ferry that you take when you're touring Europe and you're oh going to London. Goodness. You're going to have fun. Well, have and you been on a cruise before? Yes, I have. Oh. I've been on the 70,000 tons of metal cruise and it was oh. amazing. Oh, that's great. Well, I was actually just talking to somebody yesterday about that. Oh. And they said it's great until the storm hits. Yeah. Really? There was a storm? There was a little storm, unfortunately. Oh, so my God. I wish you the best for this cruise. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. No, but um, but overall, you are looking forward to playing the cruise and your first time, regardless of playing on I it. I love first times of anything, man. So, you know, I think it's going to be cool. Um, a lot of great people on there, so I'm just going to watch and learn. You know, I mean? I'm just going to, there's so many people that uh, have so many wonderful abilities that I'm just going to see what everybody's up to and uh, try to, like, add my own two cents in when I can. And my band is looking forward to it. None of us have been on a cruise before. Um, so as That's long so as nobody cool. gets sick, we'll be all right. There you go. Well, I wish you the best for that. <laughs> and do you think in the future that you'll keep touring the United States, or what do you think? Absolutely. That's the entire purpose of even doing this tour, you know, is to kind of gauge, you know, what it's like, because I've been away from America for so long. I really had no idea. No idea. There's a lot of things about America that I had completely no contact with so i don't really know the scene as much so i kind of had to rely on the word of our agent and the record company say look there are a certain amount of people these kind of people want to come see you play and there was a lot of really enthusiastic fans i had to take their word for it came out there it's just been great so far and just the response to inferno has been great so i'm definitely planning to come back on my next oh, album right. yeah definitely i loved it Awesome. And I know that when I interviewed you a few months ago, I asked you, you know, what were your expectations for America? And you said that you weren't really sure. So overall, I mean, I when know. Was it in August? Yeah, it was like a few months before your tour. Yeah, yeah I was really had no <laughs> idea. And it just blew my mind, you know. And some of the, a lot of the shows really stand out in my memory. You know, the New York show at the Gramercy Theater was fantastic and we had a wonderful show in Dallas and actually the whole South has been great, a lot of fun and um, you know, it's just been beyond my whatever, I had no expectations so you win every any way you look at it, I really just enjoyed it. Right. And I assume that you're also excited to play Florida? Yes, especially because in Japan it's like the middle of winter right now oh. so I'm just excited <laughs> to be here regardless whether I'm playing or not. We've come, we've got a great set list that is just working for us and we keep adding to it. So the set's getting longer and there's a lot more kind of fun features and stuff. I mean, if you're playing instrumental music, you've got to do something to spice it up. You can't just stand there and play. I mean, I would be like sleeping during it and watching it. So you'll see, I mean, if you're going to be at the show tonight, it's just pure adrenaline from beginning to end. And it's like... Well, it's instrumental, and there's a lot of guitar mania going on, and there's definitely our share of wanking is going on. But, 
but mm-hmm. it's total punk attitude and lots of adrenaline and power and like you will definitely get some energy from the show <laughs> And uh, do you, is there a works of a new album or anything? Yeah, well, uh, as soon as I come off the road from this, I'm going to go into pre-production for the next album. And uh, there's a couple events that are going to happen this year, a little one-offs here and there. Like I'm going to be playing the Hollywood Bowl in, uh, in August with Rodrigo and Gabriela. And I'll be doing a, a, a very interesting guitar retreat with them prior to that in August. And a couple of one-offs with my band, and I'm playing uh, a couple of shows in Asia. But for the most part, I'm in pre-production all the summer. And then by the time the fall hits, I'll be starting to record the new album, which I'm really looking forward to. Nice. So it's all written and everything? No, no, no. It's like I've just got, like, tons of ideas. And when I go into pre-production, I put those ideas into kind of reality check, you know. Is this really any good, or am I just, you know, blowing blowing sunshine up my own skirt <laughs> and usually it takes a long time and I throw away about 90% of what I've done so it takes months <laughs> record it's gonna it's got to be new and fresh and different because if I've already done it before there's no reason for me to do it again I'm always into like trying to branch out in some way and do something that's new and exciting and fresh so whatever that means I don't know at this point All right. Well, here's the last question. Do you have a message for the fans or anything? Thank you so much for your support. I can't believe how well it's gone. I can't believe um, just the support. It's been overwhelming. Thank you so much. And uh, I will definitely not disappoint you next time. Hopefully I didn't disappoint you with Inferno. It's been a pleasure to do this tour, America, Europe, Japan. Sorry about Australia and India that we haven't got there on this tour. Um, we we played in uh, in South America. That was fantastic, um, but um, it's just opening the door for more touring next time around. And uh, I will definitely play for you then. I'm looking forward to it. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. This is Stephanie with the Age of Metal, and Marty Freeman has a lot going on right now. He's currently um, in the works for a new album, doing a lot of great touring, and he'll definitely be in the United States again. So keep up on everything that he's doing and stay metal. Yeah.